Okay, hi guys! Welcome back to Yasmin Collects and welcome if you are new. I thought that I could do this vlog style and just hold the camera in my hand like other YouTubers, but my hand is shaking so bad, so hold up, let me set this down. Okay, camera sitting. It is balancing on top of my CRT and the interior of one of my landlines. Anyways, today is going to be a bit of a hodgepodge of a video. So I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just haven't been able to figure out the right way to go about it. But essentially, I'm going to be showing you guys a little redecoration session with some of my retro tech and older toys. If you watch my videos all the way through, you will notice that my background is different almost every single time. And that is because I just move stuff around. I can't help myself. I'm never satisfied. I'd never satiated and I recently moved my living room into my bedroom and my bedroom into my living room so we're in my living room right now which is technically my bedroom which is also my current man cave wherever most of my retro tech goes I call it my man cave if everything goes correctly today picking up a hot pink Ikea metal console from Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to get it for $20, which I feel is a steal, and I think it's going to be the perfect place and time for me to relocate some of my toys. There are some specific things that I'm looking for homes that are currently just kind of sitting inside um, drawers or hidden away out of plain sight. First of all, I have a ton of Littlest Pet Shops that need a home. I'd ideally like to be able to look at them, but so far I haven't found a good place for them. I also have a couple physical play sets, and I have a, gener a Generation 3 My Little Pony play set. Just kind of all sorts of crap to put in a spot so it has a home and it can be visible. And I figured it would be fun to take you guys along. I think cleaning's pretty satisfying. I've enjoyed including it in some of my other videos like I included a little cleaning section in my re-greasing -re my VCRs video so that's what we're gonna do I'm also gonna show you guys just like little bits and bobs here and there this video like I said is gonna be a hodgepodge because we're gonna be doing like the cleaning and the displaying and the satisfying organization but I also want to use this as an excuse to show you guys some of my favorite stuff I have little shelves here with just special things I've accumulated and I think that's going to be the best way to do this. One other reason why I haven't just given you guys a tour of my retro tech section or area is because I do like to be cautious about my location. We live in 2024 where there's lots of scary, crazy people. And although I'm sure you watching, you are not a scary, crazy person, you always kind of have to assume that somebody out there does have ill intent. So I didn't want to be like here's a tour of my entire apartment and here's where I live. You know, I want to be a little bit more cautious um, in that. And I do appreciate that a lot of you guys are respectful of my location and you don't tend to like, I don't know, you guys are really good with that stuff. I never feel unsafe, but it's still worth bringing up and reiterating. And I'm sure if you're also a creator, which a lot of my subscribers are fellow creators, you know the feeling of just being scared that someone's going to find out where you live. So. I think that's enough explanation, disclaimers. I'm really hoping that I get this filmed in one day. If I have the same hair and makeup, then you know I got my I got my my IKEA thing. We did it all, and it's happening. So yeah, I think that's all I wanted to share for now. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is jump right into the IKEA stuff and putting everything in its rightful place. And then after that, I will just show you guys some of my little favorite stuff and. Just think of it as Yasmin showing you around her favorite knickknacks, because this is, after all, say it with me, Yasmin Collects. Alrighty, y'all, let's get started. So here is a little overview of this unit. One of my friends is really into Ikea, and he told me that they haven't done vinyl-covered shelves like this in a really long time, let alone in a hot pink color, which kind of makes sense because the seller I bought it from was moving to Seattle and said that she had had it for a very, very long time and just couldn't bring it with her. So that's pretty cool. We have this very sad setup right now with my smaller Roku TV, one of my combo units. This VCR is just not used very frequently. Usually 
I'm using the DVD player on that side and I got to figure out how I'm going to move that over here and then also <laughs> make sure that my bunny still has her little space as well. So I picked up everything. I also have my Sony Vio hiding behind there, which I have gotten a couple questions about when my next Sony Vio video will be. It's coming. There's parts that I need to order. I just haven't quite gotten around to that yet. and the joys of having a ton of cables and all of that stuff to manage. So I went to just check on the drawers because at this point I just had a friend help me carry it in. I didn't look or really check to see if the drawers were functional because this was 20 bucks for something this big. I was like, you know, whatever. But I thought that they were put together upside down because as I was opening it, opening them, all the drawers appeared to be upside down and I thought you know maybe the seller just didn't use the drawers and then you know I used my brain a little bit longer and realized that I had set the unit upside down so we flipped it over and now look at that the drawers open and close as they should the next step is to figure out what the heck is gonna go on this unit I put my Roku on top because I knew I was gonna keep it I also tried to place the VCR on top but then I didn't like the way that looked so I set my Vio up there I keep it that way for I don't know. The fun part about this video is that lots of things are going to change and you guys will get to see how fickle I am with decorating and why I don't do decorating videos that are long term because I change things up so much. But I cleaned up the bio and now we're moving on to the shelves and I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that. There are some toys that I want to display. I always struggle with displaying my toys. I don't know why, but I'm just very picky about the way things look and I don't want it to be too cluttered, but I also want to make sure that, you know, my items have a place to shine. So I started off with my littlest pet shop. I just have this cute little play set. I don't remember the name of it, but I set all of my items up here, including the adorable little pets that I have. Some of these are G3 and um, other ones are from the brand new line that's out right now. I don't, I think it's a G6 they're on. I'm not sure, but some of them I'm going to show you in this frame as that kitty right there has its face eaten off because I used to have them displayed above one of my rabbit enclosures and they fell in because I, I live next to some trains and sometimes they shake the walls and I guess they fell over and one of my rabbits just went crazy and ate their faces off like a demon. <laughs> Next, we have my G3 My Little Pony set. This is Twinkle Twirls Dance Studio from 2004. The casing at the top is broken, and I also want to do a video on this because it uses a bunch of little gears to rotate the ponies electronically. It's really, really beautiful, but the gears are grinding pretty hard. I can hear them inside the casing. I think they just need some grease, but I haven't gotten around to opening yet, opening it up yet. I struggled a little bit with how to fit this because it's just a little bit too wide to fit it all the way but I started displaying all of my ponies I did a very unviewed video on how I style and clean G3 My Little Pony hairs so if you want to like watch that video you're welcome to it's not really my target audience I don't think but it was just kind of like a fun relaxing cleaning video I also have this cute happy birthday toy um, from 2002, I think, and that um, purple pony in the middle it goes with. I also have a Littlest Pet Shop Tamagotchi that I forgot, so I just set it there as well. 
some more fun old things nickelodeon trivia from the 2000s barbie sing with me karaoke machine and now we get to move on to the terrifying sea of cables that was my big driver for getting this because i just need to organize this mess if you do not like piles of cables sitting all in one crumbled spot look away i also have this bag with just some random tech doodads if you collect stuff you know you just kind of know what each bag has so i started off with some ps3 off-market remote controls i have a ps3 it's actually my partner's that i'm pretty much just keeping for him for storage because it's nostalgic for him i don't really use the playstation um i never learned how to play them as a kid so I don't really go for them now. I'm going to stop talking though and just let you guys watch this part. I am just organizing all these drawers, throwing things in, and trying to do it in a way that's at least semi-cohesive. We then have these little doors that open up. This door has turned out to be my kind of YouTube door. I have camera bags, this I think it's like 50 foot ethernet cable that I used to use when I would play Mario Kart online. I also have another door here. This one really did not end up looking like this. I ended up and I don't want to spoil it too much, but I ended up storing a lot of toy stuff in here and also I put my partner's PS3 in there as well for storage. I also went back and added some other things. I keep my microphone in there, my adapters, all of my SD cards and all of that stuff. I also found a random Instax camera in one of my other drawers in the other room because I'm kind of like compiling everything that used to be spread out and I'm putting it all here. So just toss that in a drawer as well. 
And this is a couple days later. This is what everything looked like at first, but it doesn't stay this way for long. I end up moving the vial into another room and bringing in one of my CRTs because I had two CRTs next to each other in the same room, which kind of made no sense to me because like I'm going to watch one or the other. And then eventually I also ended up adding some webkins to the top because I purchased a few and just wanted to look at them and here's all of my cute toys in their glory I moved that boom box around but I wasn't happy with that either so eventually we settled on this this is what it currently looks like at least for the most part I put my Magnavox uh, VCR combo from 2002 in there it's been great because I actually get to like watch TV on there at night and this is one of my newest and most like pristine units so I don't really feel guilty putting more hours on it also these portable combos are kind of really common so it's totally fine I also have one of my boom boxes there and then an air purifier because I've got rabbits as you guys know and that's where this section is it's been very very useful I've loved it quite a bit and I'm so glad I picked it up now for some of my random favorite things. First, we have this amazing, gigantic picture thrift find. This is a Patrick Noggle style, I don't know, like nail salon artwork. It's from 1992 and the frame did come super cracked but what I did was use some glue I can't remember what kind it's it's glue that I used to adhere plastic to um just kind of like put it together back again so the glass is still broken but it's not going to shatter or crack any further I may replace the frame at one point but frames are really expensive and I ended up buying this for like three dollars or something like that so one of my favorite pieces of artwork in my house i also have all of my vhs here as you can see we've got quite a bit some other artwork that i've hung up over the years including some amy winehouse my favorite artist michael jackson if you know you know i absolutely adore michael i have a moonwalker vhs number ones dvd that i watch way too much and then some other toys some ne uh, new generation lois pet shop that i'm keeping in the box some webkin stuff trading cards and then a irene carter what a feeling vinyl up at the top we also have some more Michael Jackson stuff. I have a collection of 80s magazines. They're not all on display, but I do have plans on purchasing some more frames. I think I got the ones I have in this video from at home, but it's a really good size and I'd like to continue displaying my magazines, but the ones that I have are mostly Michael Jackson related, so those are the ones I put up. I also have a clear Muse Sunburn vinyl from their initial release that is unfortunately cracked because I cracked it in a move. And then for Finally, I have an 80s style clock that does not work, but appears to be made from a lone piece of tile, which is very, very cool. Alrighty, and that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, getting to see how I organize or for lack of better organization. I really do like to move things around a lot and I enjoy interacting with what I own. So if you guys have some favorite things, favorite items, thrift finds, things like that, please do let me know. If you like this video, I'd love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We do all sorts of old school retro things here and I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye. Bye.